Peggy 18. You're trapped inside an enormous adult playground with no escape in sight. Your only company? Thousands upon thousands of flesh-hungry zombies. What would Chuck do? When you first start playing through Dead Rising 2, your unarmed combat skills really aren't at their best, and so you're going to want to find a weapon quickly in order to avoid becoming zombie chow. Baseball bat is a great example. It's easy to use, it can take out multiple zombies in a single attack, and it will help you level up quickly. And of course, there's nothing more therapeutic than swinging a 20-pound hammer straight onto zombie skull. Not every item you pick up is going to be used as a blunt object or a projectile. In addition to weapons and food, you'll also find magazines scattered throughout Fortune City. These will grant you passive abilities so long as they're kept in your inventory. You'll be able to find magazines in bookstores, newsstands, or kiosks, and each one helps you in a different way. Some will boost your health, others will increase the number of prestige points you can earn, still others will increase the strength and durability of your weapons, and so on and so forth. So, remember, read up, kids. If you've always dreamt of whacking golf balls at the legions of the undead, you've come to the right place. You don't need to limit your sporting experience to violence alone. Here you can see we'll be taking the Casino Cup Challenge at the local sport trance store. The object of this game is to get as many holes in one as possible. The more times you make the shot, the more you can earn. Mm. As you can see, we missed our first hit right here. But we can still earn some money if the second one goes in... And it does! Now, let's let Chuck concentrate on this last shot. And with two out of three, yeah. we just made $10,000. Not too shabby. Oh no. One of the coolest features in Dead Rising 2 is the ability to tape together different objects in order to make combo weapons, like this charming broom machete creation. But sometimes you're going to feel in the mood for something a little more powerful. So you can head over to this security room in the casino, where you'll find, of all things, a vacuum cleaner. By itself, this really won't help you all that much. But if you also happen to have a saw blade, you can take both items to one of these red-doored maintenance rooms. Inside, you'll find a workbench where you can combine the two items to make... The Exsanguinator. Damn straight. This beautiful weapon will make quick work of any zombies in your way, as well as spray a disturbing amount of blood, uh... Everywhere. Everything's better with a friend, and playing Dead Rising 2 co-op gives you an opportunity to work together to achieve maximum carnage. One great tactic is to have one player lure in the zombies and have the other player take them out. Firecrackers are loud and bright, so they'll lure in a whole herd of zombies. Your partner's waiting nearby with an explosive, or maybe a couple of explosives to blow them all to hell. Because that's what friends are for. I know my way around a zombie or two.